Wait for it. Okay, it's time for magic. So one of the top built projects on our website has to be dining tables. Why is that? Because A, they're super easy to build. We love changing ours out. It's a lot of bang for your bucks. They don't cost a ton of money to build. And they're super easy to build. That's so, what I said first. That was oh, the first thing I said. I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> so today we have combined all of our favorite features from some of our past dining tables to design this Fancy V farmhouse dining table. And you're not gonna believe what you need to build this table. 13 two by sixes, one one by six, and some decorative hardware. So let's get busy. Here we go. This is your project, so I think you need to tell us what step one is. Okay, well, like we always do our plank tabletops, we have already ripped off these two by sixes to make them five inches wide. Not a necessary step, but it's gonna keep you from getting crumb catchers. You can find the video for how we rip off our edges in the link. Mm -hmm. in somewhere in the description box. But first step is to plank those two by sixes together. So we're gonna line these up. You wanna make sure they're good and flush on the ends and then we're gonna hold them together with a clamp while we drive those screws in. And this is one of the clamps we love to use. It is a six inch Craig face clamp and it's great to use when you're planking these tops to make sure that they're super even. All right, and once we get these clamps, we are going to attach these first two boards using Two and a half inch body hole screws. Ashley brought us just was, a few. I was trying to make that like Thanks good for, for the video. Helpful. Like, <laughs> here they are. All Insert a thousand screws. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and attach these. We wanna make sure our pocket holes are all running the same direction. Take all your dang screws. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. Good thought I had. It was. This is why, why Ashley isn't a producer. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> I'll build the table and I'll let Steven do the producing. So some of you guys may not have the space for like a dedicated workbench, but these sawhorses are awesome. So they fold up and they're long and skinny, so you can hang them on a wall and get them out of the way, but then you're able to set them up. They're actually really cool too because you can put a two by four on each side and set a whole sheet of plywood and you have a workbench immediately. So we'll link to those below in the description box. They're great, a great space saver. Alright, super smooth. That's what I love the design for this table, so where did you get it from? Well, I actually had a friend reach out to me and her school was trying to raise money so that they could do some events and things and she said, hey, we're having a silent auction. Do you have anything that you could auction off? And I thought the best thing that we could auction off would be a dining table. So, I don't know, I just played around. I've kind of mixed a few of our different tables that we've done and pieces of it that I liked and just made this one. I like it because I feel like it's kind of a modern take on a on an old school farmhouse table. Yeah. yeah. It's very modern farmhouse. Alright, so we have all of those planks attached and now we're going to be attaching those breadboards on the end. And what we like to do here is make these cuts exact. So once we have this table completely pulled together with the pocket holes, we lay our breadboard piece down and actually get this measurement exact to make it perfect. All right, Ashley cut the first breadboard. I've marked the second one, and I'm gonna go ahead and make that cut. Now to attach it, we're gonna use our clamp again, and we're going to attach the breadboards with these pocket holes that we've drilled into the end of each of these planks. Ooh. Sucked it right in. Okay, tabletop's done. Yep. Now we can move on to the legs, but let's, should we set this out of the way? Definitely. All right. The legs are super easy to build. The only tricky part is that we've got a 10 degree cut on each end of these boards. Just refer to the plans to make sure that the angles are facing the right direction. She is so smart. Well, to assemble it, it's super easy. We're attaching two leg pieces to that bottom base with two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. I feel like we're in math class right now. <laughs> Which we should all be scared if Ashley's the teacher. <laughs> True story. <laughs> now we have those done and we're going to add this runner four inches from the base of each leg and this will attach those legs together on the opposite side. Make sure the pocket holes are facing up, that way when we flip this thing over they're actually under the table. We're attaching these right here using two and a half inch pocket hole screws and wood glue. Alright, it's time to add that decorative trim that gives it its namesake, the Fancy V. And we have ripped these one by six boards down to five inches so they're the same width as the rest of the table planks. And we're attaching them with wood glue and pin nails. Now the best way to get a good fit is to measure and cut as you go. Fancy V Now we're moving on to the runners that will attach these two legs together. 
This part's super easy, and I actually brought screws. Every part is super easy. <laughs> this should be cool. called the super easy Fancy V farmhouse table. <laughs> okay, so we're going to run these bases. What? No, I'm, I have no oh, idea. I need I'm you watching. to get up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whitney's going to get up and move her base. The runners are attaching these two leg pieces and they're gonna sit on top of each of these legs that we just built. Now, make sure you get the free plans because it's gonna show you exactly where you need to place these and we're not using wood glue on this part because we wanna be able to disassemble it if we need to move it. We're attaching it right here using two and a half inch back screws through the runners and into the legs. Okay. Super easy. Right. I don't know if I've said super easy enough. Base is built. Is it time to put the top on? It's time to put the top on. Yay! Hoop, there it is. Hoop, there it is. Hoop, shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka laka. We're bringing the tabletop in, laying it down on top of that base. The ends are going to be pretty flush with the ends of those runners, and we're attaching it using two and a half inch wood screws from underneath the runners and into the tabletop. That's a darn cute table. It sure is. Now we just need to get a coat of stain on it. Mm-hmm. Make sure we add a pretty finish to the top. What are those cute square things? Those are fancy V's. I meant the hard one. Oh. Squares, not V's. <laughs> <laughs> so what are those cute square things? Well, now that the stain is dried, we were able to go and add the clavos, and we're gonna add a link to those in the description box below. You just hammer them in, and it makes it look like those are holding the runners between the legs. What was the cost on the lumber for this baby? Total cost in lumber was around $100 in Texas. Yeah, so we, we don't wanna hear any flack on that. <laughs> and we spent just under an hour of work assembling the thing, and we have ourselves a beautiful farmhouse table, and don't forget that fancy V. Make sure that if you build something of ours that you send us a picture, you can share it on social media and use hashtag Shani to Chic. And don't forget to subscribe. You guys want to stand a little closer together, just for the start? Just because it smells so good. You're welcome. So you've already done your Two inch screws for this part, like Ashley said. Two and a half inch. Okay. We are using two inch screws for this part, like Ashley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, fancy V on three. One, two, three. Fancy V.